I can't think. Hello everybody, it's Anastasia. In case you don't know me, I'm a photographer and content creator from Greece and here is my vlog. I'm planning to walk you through my vacations back in August and to share some tips about the island hopping in Greece. On this vacation I went with my boyfriend, so you're going to see me and him most of the time. Long story short, we are having a long distance relationship, my boyfriend is from the United States. This time he came to Greece to visit me, our trip was consisting of the beach town Lutraki, the island Skiathos, the island Skopelos, and we had in between stops my apartment in Athens. We enjoy active vacation and most of our vacation was was literally like work because we were trying to see a lot of places to cover two or three beaches on the same day on the islands instead of sitting on the same spot for several hours. We prefer to rent a vehicle and uh, to drive through the islands on the mainland of Greece as well to see literally small villages, different beaches, to try new restaurants in order to actually be confident to say that I have seen this Place. Our first destination when my boyfriend actually arrived to the Athens airport was to go to the beach town Lutraki. It is located close to the city Corinthos. It is approximately one hour by car from Athens. Oh look, that's kind of cool. So a couple of days passed, we started our journey to Skiathos. Skiathos is an island close to the city Volos, which is in the center and slightly north part of Greece. And you can go there either by plane or by renting a car and then taking a ferry or taking a bus, what we did from Athens. Driving to the north part of Evia. Evia is uh, the second biggest island in Greece, but it's connected with a big bridge uh, with the mainland. So it's easy to actually drive there. So I hope I didn't actually confuse you here even more. Our plan was to visit Skiathos first and then to go by ferry to Skopelos. Would I recommend you this way how we did that? Maybe not. Maybe it's easier to take just an airplane and uh, get there right away instead of doing this. But we took the bus and the whole journey took us the first half of the day. There are other ports available like Ios Kostadinos or actually the Volos city from where you can take a ferry but uh, we decided to take a ferry from Madudi. I never have heard about this until now. It was quite a surprise that actually when we arrived to the port there was nothing there and I think we waited for two hours instead of the one hour that we were expected because the ferry was late but the destination is worth it. It actually rewards you with amazing island view. It was really beautiful. The port was really beautiful. This island is also very green and it was so enjoyable to drive through these green mountain roads to our way to reach uh, the coolest beaches. It's definitely worth it in case you are thinking of trying something new Let's say you have went to Kiklaris already and you have done the Sandorini and Mykonos uh, thing and it's time to explore something else, then I would recommend a lot to visit these islands. On both islands we stayed in hotels and most of the day we obviously were outside the hotels exploring the islands. So the first tip is not to focus that much on your accommodation in case it's not very important to you. I mean, it's obviously important to be comfortable and to have a clean room, but in case it's not a demand from you to have like a luxury room and to stay a lot at your accommodation, then just get 
a simple room and go explore the islands for the most of your day because it's definitely worth it to actually see it instead of staying in the port area all the time here obviously it will help you to rent a car or rent an atv like we did and uh, to me it's a more comfortable way of driving through the islands and because it consumes less as well you can park it easily on some narrow streets instead of having a car and obviously you have to be careful on the island roads because sometimes there is no asphalt and you enter the farm road you have to be really careful there another tip for great island hopping is uh, to avoid to eat at the port area if you can it's better to drive in the small villages of the island and uh, go further from the port and uh, to actually seek for some local taverns or restaurants which can present and offer you a better service fresh food and actually greek food so avoid the big labeled taverns uh, at the port that says greek cuisine greek food greece <laughs> taverns that are too obvious that are greek taverns come on you're in Greece what what else are you going to find the most touristic areas are usually too overwhelmed the service usually is not great unfortunately in Skopelos we did most of the time dinners at the port instead of going somewhere else but we had our lunches in the other part of the island which was actually great the prices on these two islands were actually more expensive than we thought if you are ordering a gyro it's going to be slightly expensive than in Athens. And what I was happy to discover this year that I'm trying to avoid meat in my diet is that Greek cuisine actually has a lot of vegetarian and vegan options so you can easily find something on the Greek menu. My favorite is domates gimistes which is translated as uh, stuffed tomatoes and uh, there is rice inside with spices, raisins and uh, with uh, some extra olive oil with uh, potatoes so the town of the islands is called Hora on every island that you go to Greece it is actually the place where the life is going on where it's the most busy where the tourists are staying and even the locals like to go to Hora to go to the bars to restaurants and uh, just walk around the port so on the first island in Skathos, we actually tried to explore the nightlife and we visited some bars and had some drinks after our dinner, late dinner, but we were exhausted. So on the second island, we were intended to go and explore the nightlife, but we were so tired after dinner that we just went straight to the hotel and slept. And to be honest, Skopelos doesn't have such a nightlife as Kathos. Kathos is more busy with more younger people and Skopelos is a bigger island, first of all, it has a bigger hora. And I noticed older people actually visiting Skopelos, like couples in their 30s or maybe some groups of friends, but not students or, you know, young people. this video with uh, talking about some of my plans for the fall uh, to be honest the transition from august and uh, september was quite rough here uh, in greece because we have uh, heavy rainfalls and wind it seems like it's the middle of october rather than the beginning of september the plans for the fall are actually big i finally i finally signed up to the driver's team it's going to take me around one month and a half until from the beginning to the end until my exam and now i have to study the the road signs in order to take the theory exam i guess it will happen in 10 days maybe in two weeks it really depends on me and how fast i am going to study and do the 
uh, simulation tests uh, online and then I will start my practical lessons and actually to drive. Hopefully with this uh, big goal everything is going to go well and uh, another big goal is to finish the 12 gods project. I have uh, seven more gods to go but hopefully within these two months I will be done because I'm going to present this project as my final work at the university to receive my bachelor degree so it's going to be like a thesis but i have to present the photography work and i decided to do this topic about the 12 gods so these are the main two goals that i'm going to focus uh, in this beginning of fall and obviously i'm going to have my photography clients and uh, to work on my youtube channel like trying to do everything at the same time but um, when you start, you are by yourself as a solopreneur and uh, I guess it's normal to do it like that and hopefully in the future I will have a team and uh, in order to have some help with uh, all my projects. So friends, that's it. I was happy to come uh, to your screens and uh, to walk you through my Greek vacations. Hopefully I inspired you maybe to take a quick trip to Greece because it's still September and the rains uh, are going to end soon so you can you can come here and enjoy either the Athens, either the Greek islands or the other parts of Greece. In case you're interested in a photography session then you can always reach me at my email which is linked down below and that's it. For now, see you soon. Don't go to Paris.